there's gonna be a lot of crew talks. We're already deep into the Quarian backstories with Tali. In the last part we get those two questions done. Now it's time for the Burger Madre. And I'm probably going to video it this because I need to sell on the upgrade and stuff. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. That sounds funny enough, something that uh, only guys would have to do, not girls. Uh, especially if there would be a population of more guys. You know. Yeah, anyways. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. I want to talk about something else. Like what? No. No, nothing. I should go. See you later. Like actually nothing. Okay. I'm gonna sell stuff, talk to crew. I should also see if I can mess with the lockers. Aren't they here? Aren't my crew's lockers here? Cryptali. Oh yeah. The armor is kind of black here. I don't know why. Okay. I'm gonna mess with that in the meantime. God. Stuff is sold. Stuff is equipped. We got three more peeps here. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? No. Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Why was that one line so much louder? If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to... I understand, Commander. That's all. That was quick. Commander, good to see you. 
Tali gave us a 10 minute, 20 minute backstory. Commander? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You're almost clutch. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Aww. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. They have flashlight heads, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't <laughs> happen again. <laughs> Uh. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion? Kind of wish you'd got. No offense. Oh, I appreciate sad. the rescue. I just wish. We came as soon as we got the distress call. Even with the fastest ship in the fleet. You did the best you could, Commander. It's my fault. If I had been more alert. Uh, okay. Be more alert. <laughs> We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Our trainings... I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Ma'am? Oh, am I so clear? The whole girl. Kind of cool though. Don't mind. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, she talked a lot. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Uh -huh. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. A little bit touchy, dear. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. <laughs> As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. I just want to talk. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Rex. I thought he backed off and I still can't buy anything from that shop. No money. I talked to Caden in the last part. I guess Choker. Yeah. Still not one more elevator to go through. One open up. This one. No, no, it's not an elevator. Let's for the citadel to get updates. Okay, chokey boy. Fuck. 
Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. You can't do anything besides sit and walk. Oh. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I'm sorry, Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Yeah, sounds probably not that good. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, hmm, and it stuck. Oh. I thought because you make so many jokes. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Rolex syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't <laughs> fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I have to go. All right, see ya. Experience. We're talking to Choker. Must be Choker. I uh, will figure out what to do. Maybe a side quest. If I find how to do that and how, where to find him. Let's see. Got. Normandy. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. Mm. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Okay, I was looking for side quests. Yes, I found one. I don't know if I need to check out every system, no, every goddamn of those four planets. No, it's a system. Because that's kind of annoying. Just... Can I land on every planet here? Okay, no, so this one is special. Brego survey. 
I got stuff, okay. Cool, sure. Let's go down on my... Looks like hell. Hell mile. We gotta take Tali and uh, gonna put this one. Shh, sure. Except. Make her time. Cool that planet. Quite decent, quite decent. What do we have? I am here left. Up. Let's go up first. Oh, a little bit of stutter. That's surprising. And it's just the wind making it look like that. Oh, since I'm video editing this anyways. Cut! 30 seconds later, we found ourselves enemies. Just some towers though. I can't even zoom up that high. Good. Some defensive towers. I believe I miss pretty much all of those shots. I don't know how to do it in this thing, it's weird. The hell? There we go. There's something else here, like a housing symbol. <laughs> oh no! 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 Good. That didn't work. Master driver. We're good at driving. Whoa. Do I get stuff for that? No, is that not how it works? Okay. Fighting here. That's a gap outpost. Just drive normally. Oh no. Just drive normally a little bit. Okay, right, I can drive over them. Forgot about that. One down, three to go. You lead, I'll follow. Uh, uh, for, uh, yeah, it's what the store does here. Let me just loot. Oh, yeah, damn it. Another planet. That was kind of boring. That's why I'm gonna skip ahead and not do too much side questing. Doesn't even matter who it take. Or me. So we'll see. The planet's not good. I'm restored. And kill cool, yeah. Before oh, a tunnel. Very green. Oh, look at that view. Hey. That's a good view. I am um, here. So that might be the mission and there's loot. Let's look over there. It also stirred us. Oh no. I need to upgrade my PC this year. I should definitely do that. Yeah. And climb this mountain too. I don't know why 
this game out of all still is right track right way to go okay we got champs oh that's they actually can snap me from here This thing is just insane to drive. Insane. Oh god. Get out and snap them right. See, save two. Out. No, that would be easier. Oh, maybe not. Drive and shoot. Why are you dropping it? Did it drop something? That's number two. Let's hit the next base. Thanks, Rex. I like this was not enjoyable. Uh, I know. Okay. Let's start us. Next to that, too. See. Yeah, that was that sound. Uh, cut. Damn it. I hate this. Next planet. Anti bear. Which is not what the woman choose when they go into the wood. The anti bear is the man. God, I got nothing to talk twice. <laughs> ah. Those missions are just not my thing. They're too boring. Is it icy? Like an ice planet. Me down there. Oh, yeah, it is. I only went to the mission last time. Didn't even check out the planet. Couldn't. Takes too long. Why? The matches they do look actually quite beautiful. Don't talk too bad. It's just running, running. <laughs> Okay, that's new. That's new. Like that. 
Kill all the tentacles. There. Oh. Damn. Okay. That was bad. Okay. This way, right. Dang. I was not prepared for that fight. As cool as it is. Brush them all. In an icy desert. Be quicker. Damn it. Is he? Are you kidding me? Why? How happened here? Death and humans. Follow. Nothing else to say, I guess. Stella. Makes no sense. It's just stole this. This looks interesting. This looks interesting. What is it? Rofi in rune. Ah, drop pressure mask, jaw, codex, money, hopefully. Okay, let's go fight. I guess. Right this way. Damn it. Right there. They camped in. Right here. I still don't know how to drive properly. That's, you aim weirdly with the mouse. That's where you aim how to go. Be stuck. Damn it. No. Cool. And the drop ship. That's how I'm stuttering all over the place. Actually runs away this time. Oh. 
one more outpost left. The sooner we get rid of it, the sooner this cluster's secure. Oh, too much work. Last Gundam planet here, hopefully. Then I might look for one more side quest. Oh, what's on? Dawn. So done. So I'm a lot of little clips that to be put together. Like a whole episode. Nice view again. Okay, that is May. And one of those things. I'm just gonna swing a wide left and see when I'm there. Cut up. I just had to scale a gigantic mountain, look at that. Who designs crap like that? Just a gigantic mountain base. Um, what? Uh, okay, there's the base here. There's an actual base here. It's not what I thought. The scary music equipment. And something new. Where's my shotgun? There. Basic rounds, incendiary. I didn't even test the shotgun yet, it says it has zero damage. That would be good. Easy, hear me. Oh, we're getting good stuff now. It doesn't shoot. Shoot, no. Makes sense that it <laughs> does zero damage, it just doesn't shoot. Yep, double no, okay. Nope, not like that. Skim it out, oh, thank you. Damage per second. Why, why is that a thing? Let's start a thing. Explode. Hating with all the talents in the world. Immunity corner. The hell is this place? My third task is to make that noise. So, it's a weird research facility. Seems like it. Maybe that's actually the mission. I don't know. To the corner. Oh, diamond back. Like by accident, go, go to a high level planet. I just can't press the right equipment button. Oh, thunder. Cool names. I don't get that. Stinger Raikou. I want the Raikou. The sniper. So I'm gonna switch. Shoot. 
Frodo. That feels good, that sniper. How about the diamond back? Ha! Huh. Ah, what's that gun called in Mass Effect? Free? It's a name. I remember it. It's not diamond back. And I got no grenades. No? This one I just picked up a grenade. Eh. That's scary. The mission or oh, another diamond pack. I feel like I've tapped into a high level zone all of a sudden with good loot. Nado. Fusion, explosion, lightning strike. Oh, yeah. It's the names alone are worth it. Damn it. Always the wrong button though. Diamond back. Shotgun skimmy tool. The same tornado. Never heard of that before. Hmm. Interesting. No, no damage. Repair hammer. Come on, give me. Fusion cryo mercenary. Okay. Caden needs a new armor. His one looks trash. He don't get one. It's all me. Tornado. Seems like it will pack a punch. Oh boy. It's the snap then. My snap has anti organic rounds on it. To do. Not now, Commander. <laughs> Need background info. I mean, we walked into a whole lot of good loot. What's that we done here? Huh. That was at least worth it. So worth it. Not a load of good loot. Oh no. Where's my car? Drive this thing. It's kind of awkward to shoot. Looks like it should have a lot of range, but it does not. Um. Hmm. 
I thought one of these outposts would be a major base of operations. Hold on. This receiver is picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. What? Um, sure. I don't know what's up. Uh, I'm gonna cut in the meantime. Yep, I know what's up. Ah, they're actually sending me down again on a new planet that just appeared in a new solar system. Let's take the first squad. Technician squad. Every uh, squad tall is on as a technician squad. You know, I mostly like to play biotics. Yes, in this game, it's not that useful. Tell me, where do I need to go? Might be right in front of me. Let's check it out. It's status. Yep. Love it. Level one hazard too. May I die when I enter exit? Exit. Got to design those planets and why are they so weird? Blue mountain. Oh, look at that. This can't get anywhere. Santa crap. Damn it. By the left side, see if there's a way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed it. I can't drive this thing. Nobody. It's like I can't hit those dudes apparently. again can't see can't see damn it Jesus bomb it this thing just drives so badly Oh my god. Yeah, got the base. Drive so badly. Good. Tell me we're done afterwards. What the hell was that sound? I didn't try the pistols yet. Get Sapper. Oh yeah. Only in this game. Switch this thing out. Oh boy, Ashley. Go and tank. I need to get my sword rifle out of there. Ooh. Oh, damn, hello. Everything. Give me everything. I'll just take that then. Diamond back thunder. Do we have new ammo too? 
forlorn him round. Stop. Too many buttons. Make no sense. That's better. Sound. As the last get falls, you hear music from across the room on the monitor. Corrin stands before a hush crowd, warbling a mournful a cappella of words and innocence lost. The crowd song is dispatched, blah 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 blah. I don't hear anything. Sure, now I'll read through that another time. Average description. Naginata, that's new. Ah, oh, yep, sure, I'll take it. Whatever it was. Get file data. The big thing I got from this is just weapons. Weapons. That might be good as so hell. I want to try that. Let's get them. Oof, them. More. Sniper. Naginata. Hmm. Seems like it's the same gun as beforehand. Nothing up here then. Just that vantage point. Gonna have to look for so much armor, guns on my ship. I've been saying. Now create the whole squad. Right, Tully. Damn it. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna explore. I am not. Effort. Enough. Mm. Tell me the mission is done. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Good. So mad. I was actually looking for this Bottomus. Bottomus? Bottomus cluster. So far, nothing seen besides Amazon. No, I'm not going shopping. Teos Farinita. Oh, it might be next to one of the side quests. Hercules, there must be a spider clustered then, somewhere. Uh, Strenos, I was on that, hopefully I got what I needed. Spider, there it is. Yes, I don't know on which planet Leora's main quest is. We're going to Sparta. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Oh, that's part of another episode done. Peace out.
Rock VI, det är det.